Now, output devices. Fuel injectors. So, fuel injectors actually aren't on... I'm going to go back to that and I'm going to talk about data logging a little bit later on and how to do the data logging um, and how to use, or I guess not really how to do it, how to how to use the data log to um, tune the car. So in a few minutes I'll talk about that. So when you come over here to fuel, you can see you have you have all these little options and I'm sure they're getting confusing. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about every one of these because you don't need to configure every one of these to take the car and to, and to get it um, just to get it to where it's drivable to where you can drive it to your tuner now the main things though which I'm going to go to which would be injector flow rate which would be um, what like what, what size injectors they are are they 570 cc are they 770 cc are you know what what are the what is the injector size um, so the flow rate is how much it flows per minute like if it's cc's per minute or if it's pounds per hour um, whatever whatever they're rated at you, I think you can actually change it uh, pounds per hour or cc's per minute up in the options tab but um, the stock S2000 injectors were set at I think 380 cc's that's what this was set at now I um, it's what Haltech determined what the flow rate was now I don't know if they went and they mapped the fuel injectors on that uh, like in, and they did like they figured them out on their own like what the what the, the injector flow rate on those injectors are because um, I couldn't find anything online that supported that they are 380 CC but the car should run um, it should run it should set up fine as like if you were to plug it in injectors are running at 380 CC's so the injectors that are installed in this um, they're rated at 578 cc's but this fuel pumps upgraded I just found out so these are probably I should I don't know I could change this number to 600 cc um, as I actually emailed the manufacturer and I was trying to find out so oh sorry let me finish talking about this so you plug in the injector cc's here now injector dead time um, this is what I had to email the manufacturer about now the injectors that are installed are uh, um, Ultimate Racing injectors. Um, so I had to email Ultimate Racing, which they they pretty much repackaged uh, Siemens injectors, Siemens 570cc injectors. Uh, the dead times that they gave me and the CCs that they gave me, they said they flow 600 CCs based on the part number that I gave them. And the injector dead time, which is pretty much how long it takes the injector to come on, like you know, whenever it gets the trigger, how long does it take that coil to fire up? because um, it's just a little electromagnetic coil pretty much like a little solenoid that opens up really quick and closes opens up really quick and closes and it does this like in milliseconds you know time so so these are the milliseconds that it takes for that for that to start up um, so you want to get the injector dead times and you plug them in there's a, a good website to go if you don't know what your injector dead times are injectorrehab.com or not dot com just google injector dash recap or just in, just injector rehab um, and it should come up with a list of uh, they they have their own injectors that they've tested that they've gotten the injector dead times for. There's tuners, other tuners that I've talked to that they figure out they zero all these numbers out, and they do their own injector dead times, which I mean I I, I, really, I don't really see the benefit of that really. Um, if there is a benefit to it, then hey, please leave a comment about it if you're watching this and you are an, another tuner. Um, but. I don't really see the benefit of, of doing the uh, injector dead times. It doesn't. If there's a list that gives you injector dead times based on what they've tested, um, then use those. And I, I do understand that you know injectors will start to go bad over time. They will get old, so their dead times will change. Um, but the car should still run. Should still run pretty good. Um, even if the injector dead times are slightly off because the injectors are old or whatever. But anyway, um, so that's the injector dead time. So I changed that. Um, and so you don't have to worry about all this other stuff. You can let your tuner kind of worry about all those things. Uh, the dwell time you will have to change. So if you change out your uh, your coils, like you change out your ignition coils, like mine in my car, my my. Um, dwell time is different like that um, so I'm gonna be putting up a video explaining more in detail these 
ignition coils if you want to go and check that out. Um, I should up, have a link that pops up on this video um, around right now um, that'll take you to that video that uh, where I talk about like you know what is a what is a coil dwell time things like that. So um, I'm about to start a playlist on uh, everything that I know about sensors, and I'm going to try to look up stuff and fill in the blanks. So. Uh, that's going to be one of the things where I talk about like ignition coil dwell time. Like, what is dwell time? What is dwell time? Um, like, it's basically it's it's uh, once the coil reaches its peak, like you know, it gets a trigger, it starts to fire up, and once it it fires up, it's got that that period of time where it's uh, the it's at its maximum capacity of you know what it of of um, the voltage that it can store, I guess, is, uh, I guess, a way to put it, um, before the ignition event, because the ignition event happens, and that the, the uh, magnetic field collapses, and that's when it delivers the spark, but I'll go, I, I would go through that in my other video a little bit more in detail, but um, with whatever ignition coils you change out, there's the manufacturer recommended dwell times, and the dwell time is going to change depending on the ignition coils, so the coils that I have in my Celica, um, in the 3S GTE, they're actually from an Audi. They have long dwell time. Um, they're they're not known to be reliable, um, but they deliver a crazy hot spark. So I like them. Um, my dwell times on those coils are a little bit longer than uh, than what's set up here. But um, so if you change out your ignition coils, then that's a big thing. You want to change out. You want to change your dwell times too. You can't just pop them in, plug them in. Unless I mean, if they're if they're made as you know, like a, as a direct replacement for the factory ones, dwell times should be pretty close to the same. It might be slightly off, but slightly off of what the manufacturer coils are. But um, these uh, these are the stock ones. So I never adjusted the dwell times, I left them the same. Um, but like I said, if you change them out, it's very important. You have to uh, you have to adjust the dwell times for the coils. So, And you can get that from the data sheet that comes with your coils, if they're aftermarket coils. Um, or look up the dwell times, you know, if some people put in, um, like, uh, was it CBR999 or whatever, like motorcycle, a Honda CBR, they, they put in the um, ignition, I've, I've heard of guys putting in those coils with um, with their engine management or whatever and uh, they've had a lot of success they're great coils they're high revving um, but you'll want to look up on forums at least try to find out what that dwell time is obviously you probably wouldn't be able to go to Honda and be like hey I want to know your dwell times on the coils they're probably not going to tell you um, things like that they don't really keep on file ready to give out to tuners uh, but you would want to get your correct dwell times, whether it's from forums or tuners, sites, things like that. Uh, they, if guys are talking about them enough, somebody's going to figure out what the dwell times are. So, um, and hopefully somebody with an uh, oscilloscope, which is that would that would be how, where you see the dwell time on them. Like you have them where they're running on the vehicle that they're made to run on and you just map out the dwell times at different uh, RPMs and different voltages. But anyway, uh